Have you not left your house in a long time because you have social anxiety or know somebody that has? Or do you have panic attacks over different things, knowing that you need to travel, knowing that you need to call somebody, knowing that you need to return a phone call, or overall serious panic attacks? Well, both of those scenarios are called, caused by these little buggers. And these buggers are called trapped emotions or unprocessed negative emotions. And my buddy John and I today are going to show you and explain how the emotion code process, we can remove the unprocessed trapped emotions that are triggering your anxiety and your panic attacks. Hello, everybody. My name is Michael Loche. I'm one half of the Bro Show, the Emotion Code Bro Show, live every Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific. I'm a certified emotion code practitioner. And today I'm excited to be teaching the keys to the emotion code process with my friend John. I'm here in beautiful Victoria, BC on the west coast of Canada. And good morning to you, John. Good morning, yes. My name is John Inverarity, also on the west coast of Canada in Vancouver. And I'm certified in the emotion code and certified in the body code as well. Great to be here again on episode number 39. Yeah, episode 39. Well, and you know, uh, we've got a whole slew of episodes coming up. We've listed some right up until April 7th. So. Uh, later on today, you're going to uh, let people know what we are working on in the future. We've got some great stuff. Some of the things are coming from these TV commercials that I watch where they're they're trying to get people to get pain medication. And I'm thinking, that's not pain medication. It is emotion code removal medication. And that's what we're going to hear to talk to you about. Before we get started, John, i got a couple quick announcements. Uh, and then I want you to uh, go out and say a lot, uh, find out who sang hi, but before we do that, let's take a look at a couple of... Now, are you one of those people that have reached your money ceiling, trying to earn money, trying to get customers or clients, and you hit that ceiling, you can never get over it? Or do you know that you've got the patterns and habits that your parents have about money? Well, all of it is caused by, you guessed it, by trapped emotions. I run this six session series I'm taking six people. It starts on Monday, and it starts at 12 noon. It's one hour long. Your commitment in that call would just be 10 minutes, so you only need to stay 10 minutes. And in six sessions, you'll get 50 emotion code sessions in total. It's a great value for $300. We do it on a group screen like this in private. Just a little recap, we are going to start with getting rid of your beliefs about money. Do you believe it? Are you worthy of it? Is it safe for you? Is it okay for you? Um, um, uh, all the beliefs that you have about money, are you worthy of it? All your parent or parental stuff, and your, all the stuff that you inherited from your parents, we get rid of that in the first section. The second session is anxiety, because I know that you know that I know that you know that you have it. We get rid of your anxiety about money, about money coming in, about bills, about lack of customers and clients. And then we find, we, as in me, uh, you would put in your head what your new financial goals are. And I find out what are the trapped emotions causing that. I said it, 50 emotion code sessions and six sessions. If you can't make one of those days, we'll double up with you on the next day. But you'll get 50 in total. Your commitment is only to be on the call for 10 minutes, although you might have to wait your turn. And uh, it starts 12 noon. Pacific time. We're going to put the link inside the chat and uh, please join me and remove all those negative trapped emotions from your past experience. I don't know, maybe you had a, a lemonade stand when you were five years old and you messed up on that. Well, guess what? The lemonade stand trauma has stuck with you. Next, this is a personal message for all emotion code practitioners. I know that you know that I know that you may be having some challenges trying to describe the process of the emotion code. Well, I can help. Matter of fact, John and I have mastered the presentation to help people understand it. If you're watching this for the first, second, third time, I know that we've helped you understand it so much so that you're probably explaining it to others. Do you want to fill your calendar and do a live presentation in front of the room or on Facebook Live or on a private video screen of some kind? I can help teach you how to do that. This is an online presentation teaching you how to present the keys to the emotion code process, how to upsell people to one-on-one -on -one sessions to fill your calendar. It's three payments of $133. It's $95 off the whole package. You could start today watching those. 
Now I have an upcoming special broadcast where I'm interviewing and having people that are taking the training right now because they have got success stories. Some of them for the very first time, they're getting paid clients because I know that you've been working on your friends and family and they're not showing their wallet. It's time to come out of the emotion code closet and do these presentations in person. I know, John, you've done that. You've been you've done some in-person presentations and been using this process of the seven keys. I have, yeah. Yeah, I did it. Um, not too um, long after I came to Victoria, I uh, was invited to a, a presentation, did it. It was up on stage, had my seven keys. Yeah. You know, my water, my magnet, and everyone got it. They're, you know, I had a handout. They're filling it out. People oh, are great. booking sessions. I'm taking credit cards after after the presentation. Yeah, we love People, that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, next Saturday in Victoria, there is the Real Estate Expo. So I'm speaking there twice. So they gave me a booth. And yeah. You know, Buddy's coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even though it's speaking about law of attraction, because people will say, what's that? Well, you don't have to ask me twice. Because when I was at the real estate or the uh, small the entrepreneurial expo about a month ago, I had a woman come up. She said, "Oh, I heard of you. You're the guy that helps heals people's back." You know me, I'm so shy. I said, "Oh, what? Your, what's your problem?" She said, "Oh, I've had lower back problems for 13 years." So at the trade show exhibit, she was across from the table. You know, I had my friends with me. Yeah, they're the there. Magnets. Yeah. I didn't even have the chart with me. I called it up on my phone and hashtag I don't care. I was doing the emotion code session in my booth with people watching. I relieved her all of her back pain in under six minutes. And all day, every time she walked by my booth, she kept saying, it's still gone. It's still gone. Yeah. And then she took me for lunch two weeks later. She goes, it's still gone. And this Thursday, two nights ago, yeah, Thursday night, I went to a networking meeting and with her or, or saw her there. She goes, I keep telling you it's still gone. I said, yeah, it's gone. You can delete the still. It is gone. So welcome everybody today. You're going to find out what that means when we say it's gone. What it means when we're relieving you of pain and and sinus problems and ringing of the ears and back pain and neck pain and chronic pain and uh, arthritic pain and um, you know, what's what's the latest one that's driving me crazy? Uh, 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 arthritic no um, diabetic nerve, nerve pain. pain. Yeah. Don't take Lyrica if you're allergic to Lyrica. No kidding, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Don't take Lyrica at all. Take one of these sessions with John and I. Get rid of your restless legs. Get rid of your tingly feet. Get rid of your food problems. Oh, speaking of food problems, we've had a couple of good shows on food. So did you notice the calendar, what we're doing the week before Easter? It is, yeah. What is it, little uh, Easter bunnies? Yeah, Easter candy. <laughs> Are you triggered by Easter candy? <laughs> Not no more. The little eggs? So that's a future show that we're doing. So, John, why don't you uh, take a peek out in the room and uh, welcome our friends this morning. Absolutely. So if you're watching live, say hello and uh, like, share, comment. Uh, please fill the comments. Let us know you're watching. And, yeah, so we have uh, Susan Arthur with us this morning. Hey, Susan, says, good morning. Yeah, great room of people here again. Makes my week. Happy Thank face. Thank you. We love having you here. What a commitment to get people to commit to us to being here on Saturday and sharing the show with us. We love that. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Yeah, uh, J. Tara Acadia says, bros, good morning from Pasadena, California. Good yeah. morning. Yeah, Rami Carlin's here. Says, hi, everyone. We've got niece Rajesh joining us. Rajesh saying, my niece is watching. We're going to name her Nick. Our niece, Rajesh, is joining us. Our friend Sylvie Bellini, uh, she loves to talk about her crisps no more. She hasn't had a potato chip. It must be eight months now. We did a food show and we helped her uh, remove her craving and interest in addiction to potato chips uh, called crisps in the U.S., and her family loves it because she doesn't, they don't have to share them with her anymore. So, Sylvia, thanks for your loyalty and joining us today. John, who else? Sandra Mitchell says, good morning, bros. And Corrine Beach-Murray says, good morning, everyone. Hey, Corrine, good morning. Nice to have you with us. Yeah. Sandra Mitchell, good morning. Let's see. Uh... Kelly Carson is here and is sharing the show. Thanks, Kelly. And um, Natasha Paula Samuel says, hello, 
Michael and John, greetings from Romford, Essex. It's another Romford, chilly day Essex here. in the house. Good morning. But also sunny. Yeah, sunny and chilly here too, Natasha. Looking forward to another great show. Hashtag mm -hmm. emotion code bros. And we have Alaska Misty here. Of course. Hi, Misty. Uh, she's saying they got a fresh few inches of snow here because I know there's old snow there. So mm -hmm. <laughs> Snow on top of snow. Old snow and fresh snow. Okay. Yeah, Rajesh is saying good morning. Uh, my friend Maria, hello you too, good morning. That's Maria from San Francisco. Thank Misty you. Anderson shared the show, loving Misty. Thank you, Misty. Hey, our friend Don Boehm has joined us this morning. Thank you, John. Don, Don John. Uh, Laura Hill says good morning, guys. And Hannah Ruth Appel, good evening from Israel. Aunt Corinne has her sister watching today, Brenda Small, so good morning, Brenda Small. You are about to go for a ride with us this morning if it's your first time watching. We love that. Uh, yes, um, you might have said this earlier. I'm just seeing her now. Kelly Helkels, Henkels, she's from Minnesota. Judy Stevenson, she's giving us a laugh a lot. And Lauren Nelson Bowman. You know, I do that, Lauren, when people have a triple name. So that's why you got that. And my friend Skyler. Skyler. He, uh, he has a podcast called Early Risers, and he interviewed me this week. It was a great interview. Um, I did most of the talking, but it was still a great interview. <laughs> so, Skylar, why don't you drop us a little line there and tell our friends how I helped you this week. John, we're going to hear from two more people from you, and then we're going to present the seven keys to the emotion code process. Go ahead, please. Yeah, Nick Karib. Uh, hello from Chile, but sunny UK. Excited to see the Emotion Co. Bros in action today. Good and morning, Kim, Nick. Uh... And Kim uh, Whitner. Hi from Maryland. Okay, good stuff. All over the world today. Yeah, we've got Calgary. Judy's in Calgary. We've got Cal uh, uh, California. East Coast, West Coast. Alaska. Lisa Hammond, Alaska Misty. Regina. Juanita, Juanita Regina's in the house. Okay, John, tell people what we're looking for today so they can have time to let us know if they want to participate. We're going to spend about four or five minutes talking about the keys. Then the show is on. Go ahead, yeah, please. Absolutely. So we're looking for people with uh, anxiety, social anxiety, or like panic attacks. Uh, just come on you, overwhelmed at work or at, you know, at home, this unexpected, overwhelming type feeling. Yeah. And we want to know the severity of it. Uh, so some context would be great. Severity on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being most severe, uh, like uncontrollable um, panic attacks. That would be like 10 out of 10 kind of thing. And uh, we need your permission. So say yes, permission granted. Uh, just written permission. Um, so we know we can work on you. And uh, that's all we're looking for. Someone yeah, with panic, nice anxiety, and, and your permission and a severity. Good. Well, thanks for joining us, everybody, and welcome. John and I are certified Emotion Code practitioners from the book, The Emotion Code, and from Dr. Bradley Nelson. There's his name right there. He is the inventor and the creator, and he certifies people on this process. And John and I uh, have been practicing in The Emotion Code, John, many more years than I have, and I met him when he helped my limping hip after five years. He did that in two 20-minute Emotion Code sessions on Skype. I know, hashtag, Fascinating. what just happened. <laughs> and uh, I took an interest in it. So I've been doing the Emotion Code for some time too. And uh, we have busy practices and uh, we host this show every Saturday for two reasons. One, to show you all the different areas. Now, John, we've worked on so many different things on this show, everything from food and to candy and um, procrastination and um, uh, constipation and um, what's this called? Um, nasal stuff and yeah. seasonal allergies. The P show as well. Yeah, yeah. This show was brought to you by the letter P. <laughs> we did the P show last week. We had we should ask for Suzanne. She was uh, we helped her. She's in the room here as well. So we are trained, certified emotion code practitioners, and we do sessions over Skype or over the telephone. We have online calendars. You can book online. We give you the link to the video, or if you want to call us by the telephone. And uh, you sit back and relax while we uncover what the problem is that's causing you to have these blocks or physical problems. So a special shout out to Dr. Bradley Nelson. So John, before we talk about the seven keys, there's two important distinctions that Dr. Bradley introduces. Well, they were new to me, 
so why don't you tell us what those are and uh, then we'll get started with the seven keys. Go ahead, please. Yeah, so one distinction is uh, a trapped emotion. So it is uh, an unprocessed emotion from a past negative event. So a little ball of energy, just picture a little ball of energy about the size of your fist, maybe a little bit larger, and it's, and it's like a double-edged sword. So it affects you physically, like it, it's inside your body, affecting the tissues, and mentally as well, and emotionally. So it's creating those emotions of fear and panic and anxiety. Uh, and the other distinction is a subconscious mind. So your subconscious mind is uh, just records everything, your whole life, every second of your life. <laughs> nice red arrow. And uh, yeah, so everything you've done, every experience, everything you've eaten, um, now tasted. And so it knows what these emotions are. So we communicate with the subconscious mind to find the trapped emotions. And um, yeah, it's kind of like, um, it's a big like hard drive or Google. You can think about your subconscious mind, except yeah. way more powerful. Yeah, yeah. And, and why that's important because your subconscious mind knows exactly why you're peeing seven times a night or why you're constipated or why you have skin rash, why you have eczema, yeah. why you have heart problems as far as heart problems as in you're lonely or broken heart or you're feeling abandoned. Why your, your subconscious mind knows everything and you and I can ask your subconscious, John and I can ask your subconscious mind the question. Just a little update, Suzanne, who you worked on on the Pea Show, she's saying, the Pea Show, <laughs> once a night now. I mean, that's pretty good, right? And she was down from three to six times a night. Wow. So John last week, was it last week or a couple weeks ago? Number a couple 37. weeks ago, John, uh, Suzanne was the guest on the show. And by the way, when we do your session, you don't even need to be on the panel. You can be sitting home in your pajamas. You just need to type it. John checked in with her subconscious mind through the process of the emotion code, found out what the trapped emotion was that was causing her to pee three to six times a night. And guess what? Remove them. And we're going to show you how we do that. We're looking for two people today. Are you somebody that has social anxiety or any kind of anxiety or has panic attacks? Let us know. John, these are the seven keys to the emotion code process. And these keys are like important elements. We're not here to teach it. We're not teaching the emotion code. We're saying, because people say, what is it? And, you know, sometimes it's hard to describe, except we're good at it. And when I'm teaching through that program I talked about earlier for emotion code practitioners, I'm teaching you how to deliver the seven keys. So, John, say when you see it, this here is go. key number one. Key number one, the emotion code chart. And the chart is right there behind Michael. Can, the chart consists of two columns and six rows totaling 60 trapped emotions, broken down right. to convenient little boxes of five for us. And then we have the, the emotion generators on the side there, which is uh, all the organs and glands that actually create those emotions. That's right. These are 60 unprocessed trapped emotions. Because some people say, oh, I got over that. Yeah, no, you didn't. Part of it stayed behind. And that's why it's called a trapped emotion. It's trapped and it's trying to get out. Oh, it's trying to get out. And it's so, it's so trying to get out, it's causing pain. It's like it's in your neck. It's going, let me out. Let me out. Yeah. Going, oh, my neck yeah. is so painful. It's, it's like the check engine light in your car, right? It comes on and that, that pain is the check engine light. Yeah. yeah. No wonder you can't move your neck. You've got 10 of these stacked up, 10 little baseballs stacked up around your neck or your lower back. It's these screaming to get out. Let me out. Let me out. So now that we know that they want out. So. I remember earlier we said you could ask your subconscious mind. We said, subconscious mind, our friend has this horrible lower back problem, and it's created by these, and I want to find out what they are, but I don't want to be guessing what they are. I want to use a method, a surefire way to tell me what they are. And, John, we do that through the use of? Uh, muscle testing. So muscle testing is a way to communicate with your subconscious mind. Now, there's different forms of muscle testing. And so we're asking the subconscious mind yes or no questions. And, and the subconscious mind, it, um, it lets us know um, by a strong response. So it's kind of like a lie detector, right? So there's just this little... Oh, it is a lie detector. <laughs> it's a lie detector. Yes or no, are you telling the truth? So is it column A, truth, column B? Right. Yeah, we use muscle testing. Okay, so we're gonna use the emotion code chart. We're going to use muscle testing to find a yes or no answer. 
And in order for us to do that for you, you know, there's a special skill involved to do that, but we need to become your... Your proxy. So we act on your behalf. So the practitioner will connect with you wherever you are in the world, muscle test through the chart. Muscle test through the chart. And before we get started, because we like to measure our work, because our goal is to remove all of the problem that you're, ha you're having, we like to find out... The severity, <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10. So a little context of um, what's happening, uh, so you know where it is, so we know where it is before, and then we can take yeah. measurement after as well. And mostly so we can brag. Remember your neck pain was a 10, and now you're doing Cirque du Soleil tryouts? Remember that? Okay, so... We found, uh, uh, you know, we found out what the severity is. We're about to get ready to work. We're going to be your proxy, but we absolutely need to have your your permission. So written permission in this case, or verbal permission uh, to work on you. Oh, and if if it's for a child, uh, permission from a uh, parent, parent, or yes. or guardian. Well, I have a beautiful story, and I'm going to share a part of it discreetly. But I was working with. Um, a set of twins, 18 year old twins. And one of them has grown, grown up a little bit angry and ticked off and bitter, right? So we found out, I did the session with, and the mother told me yesterday that when she was pregnant, she had to have a needle through her womb into the baby to test the baby for something. So I found 10 heart wall trapped emotions that the baby got while he was in the mother's womb. Yep. And no wonder he grew up a little bit cranky and irritated because he wasn't able to send or receive love. So we removed them yesterday. Can you imagine a little baby gathering these trapped emotions inside the mother's womb? So uh, I, I meet with her regularly, so I want to find out the changes in her 18-year-old son. And he does we know we're doing the work. Yeah, I love it. But he lives at home, and I have her permission. So right. I had her permission, and I found out through muscle testing I was the, her, the proxy for her son, and the subconscious mind, it was, it was screaming, I know exactly what the problem is. All the stuff was around his heart. Now, John, uh, so yesterday when I was doing the muscle testing, the muscle testing said, yes, it's right here. It's abandonment. I got abandonment. So when I found it, you know, we talked about deleting it. We do that from the... The magnet, yeah. So we, we swipe the magnet over the governing meridian, and that amplifies our intention to clear the trapped emotion. So it's like using like a magnifying glass to like amplify... Uh, the intention. Yeah. Yeah. And the magnet is stronger than the emotion, so it deletes it. Now, all of this Ooh. can work because we're fueled up. We're trained. We know how to connect with people. We understand the process, but then we need to have water. Yeah. Hydrated practitioner. We drink a lot of water. Uh, it really helps with muscle testing and just, yeah, helps with that uh, electrical current in our bodies to muscle test. And that's it. That's the seven keys. Okay, uh, Suzanne Darnell, no, sorry, we had spoken with her. Caroline Carruthers, she's a friend of ours. She said, working with Michael regarding my anxiety, anxiety was life-changing. Well, thank you. Yeah. Sylvie Bellini saying, can we have the link to Skyler's interview with Michael? Not, not that I'm stalking. Uh, it hasn't been aired yet, Sylvia, but we're going to put it on my fan page at Michael Loge Fans. It was a really great interview, so... I will make sure. John, let's take another peek out in the room. We are, again, we're looking to work with a couple people. If we can find two people, I'll do a session. John will do a session. And we're going to demonstrate to you how the emotion code's actually working. Absolutely. Yeah. A few hellos here. Uh, Eric Carlisle says hello, Scottsdale, Arizona. Oh, great. Hey, Eric. Good morning. Yeah. Uh, Brenda Small says, I take meds for anxiety. Ooh, maybe. Maybe we have someone. Um, and Susan Arthur says, uh, my son Finn has awful anxiety in tears every Sunday evening. He can't sleep, gets so upset and cannot relax to sleep. Please, please help him. I definitely say it's a 10 as it's almost like a panic attack. Please help you him. Wanna take, do you want to take Susan Arthur's son and work on Finn? Yes. Okay, go ahead. You can write that down. So, Susan, with your permission, remember, we're going to find out the elements. Uh, he's your son. You're giving John permission. John's going to check with Finn's subconscious mind. And yeah. even John, um, even curious about that it's Sunday evening, right? It's like I would go right to that, too, and say, what's cooking on Sunday evening? Yeah. So, and it's and, a 10, uh, so that is pretty severe. Yeah, yes. how old is he? Uh, how old Susan? is he? How old is your son? 
And does he live at home? Yeah, that's a good question. Well, I guess we made the assumption that he's living at home, but Susan, Susan, Arthur, if you can answer that question and then John and I can, John can get started working on that case there. So good stuff. Uh, if you don't think that we haven't seen yours, John and I aren't seeing the same thing. So that's why I'm, I'm kind of scrolling up and down, yeah. uh, getting refreshed and getting stuff. It's going to refresh again and the... Oh, Finn is 10 years old. Okay, great. Uh, poor little ten, Finn. 10 years old, 10 out of 10. Sunday evenings, anxiety. Sunday evenings, anxiety. Yep. Great. A little prep. Okay. So John's taking water. He's got permission. We know the severity is 10. Uh, we've got permission from the mother to chat to, for John to uh, tap into the son. Finn. And then uh, John, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll walk, I'll help you walk, not help you, but you can start the process and then I'll narrate a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So just set my intention that I'm going to connect up with Finn. And I'm muscle testing. So I use, looks a little weird, pinky left hand to thumb left hand and then ring right hand to thumb right hand and I, I make a little loop and then I push apart with the right into the left and I just do it down on my lap. <clears throat> All right, so getting a yes and a no, just a baseline. So I can muscle test, yeah. Connect up with Finn. Can I do that? Yeah, so good connection, Finn and proxy. Okay, so yeah, and I have a solid good connection with Finn. 10 years old. Yeah. All right. So Sunday okay. night anxiety. This is what we're working on. Yeah. Is the severity a nine or a lower? No. You, so Finn subconscious agrees it's a 10 out of 10. Okay. All so right. So what's happening right now, John's actually connected because he's Finn's proxy and John's finding out, confirming that the anxiety is a 10. He's talking to the subconscious mind of Finn right now through proxy. Finn's subconscious mind said, well, first, thank you for coming in to help. And the subconscious yeah. mind is going to be very helpful yeah. in telling John which one of these. So I'm looking to help Brenda Small. So Brenda, can you tell me about your anxiety? Give me your permission. And uh, what's the level from one to 10? And I'll keep refreshing until I hear from you. So John, go ahead. Start your, well, I probably already started. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm in column A right now. Two. A2. Hooey. What's an A2? Oh, hello, <laughs> Captain Obvious. Well, A2 is, it, is, it is anxiety. It, it is. A2 is anxiety. So I like when it makes sense. Trapped emotion of anxiety. All right. So is this after the age of five originally? No, it's before the age of five. So we can narrow down the age. Three, two, two years old anxiety. Yeah. So it could be one or two or three, somewhere in there. Do we need to know more about this? No, we can clear it. Yeah, well, permission cleared. Got a couple of little magnets here, releasing anxiety from Finn. So Finn's subconscious mind told John Wait. through questioning that he was two, one to two years old when he had an event in his life that's causing this anxiety. Mm -hmm. and John just removed it with the magnet. Remember the magnet stronger than the vibration. Yeah. All right, is there another trapped emotion creating this panic, anxiety, Sunday nights? Tears, can't sleep, gets upset, can't relax. Another trap emotion creating this. These symptoms, I'm getting a yes, column B, no, so it's in column A, even row, odd row. It's an A, two again. Is it anxiety? No. Despair, disgust, nervous worry? No. Is it yours? No. You were born with it? Yeah. Is it prenatal? No. It's inherited. It's inherited anxiety. Okay, ding, ding, ding. Got another one. Inherited anxiety. So you can be born with these as well. And got it from mom's side? No, father's side. Okay, did your father get it from his father? Yeah, two generations. His father? Yeah, three. Ten? No, okay. Five? Yeah, six? No. Well, five generations back. Father's side inherited anxiety. Need to know more. No, clear it now. Yeah. 10 swipes for the inherited is they're a little more powerful okay quite a bit more 
Okay, I just Over connected with Laura Hill. She's given me permission. So in my muscle testing, am I Michael? Let it go if it's a no. Am I Michael? I'm not. Am I Laura Hill? I am. So um, I'm going to ask my subconscious mind about the severity of my anxiety that I'm having about not getting this job that I thought it was perfect for. Now I've got a lot of getting job anxiety. What is the severity of that? One out of 10, 10 being severe. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, nine, eight. So it's a severity of eight. Now I'm going to ask uh, Laura's subconscious mind, what are the trapped emotions contributing to this level of anxiety? It's fear. So the first trapped emotion is fear. Do I need to know more about this? So now I'm releasing the trapped emotion of fear that's creating this anxiety for Laura Hill. And I'm just doing panic. it in my head here, yeah. Now I'm getting rid of panic. Taken for granted. Okay, so I found something unique here, and it's it's called the psychic trauma, which oh, yeah. is two or more emotions that are felt at the same time. So take a look at these magnets here. Two emotions, and they stick together to form one ball of energy. They call it a psychic trauma. So kind of like red, yellow makes orange, and it's unsupported and fear from the age of four. So we'll clear that. I'm still working on Laura Hill. That's interesting, John, that you found that psychic trauma. And because they're together, they don't have a name anymore. So they're not really on the chart. So yeah, that's why you got to find well, half of it's this and half of it's that. And then yeah. You it. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I tested, I got rid of the anxiety and the inherited anxiety. And then I tested the severity and it was still a nine. So I was like, oh boy, we got some work to do here. And so I asked if it was something else. And <clears throat> it was. Okay, we had a seven, a six, we had a five now. Okay, so that's that's better. Is there another psychic trauma? No, another trapped emotion. Yeah. Okay, a b odd even to b two. Second, third, fourth, fifth. No, it's inherited. Helplessness. Mom, father, father's father, father's mom. Inherited helplessness. Father's mom. Her mom. Her father. No, that's it. Grandma. Need to know more? No, helplessness. Clear that. So the intention is to clear it from everyone. So father, grandma, siblings. I found something interesting, John. What'd you find? I found prenatal trapped emotions. Those are usually I five. found five prenatal trapped emotions, and that means these trapped emotions, even they were trapped within Laura when she was in her mother's womb, probably between five and six or six and seven months in that area. And these prenatal trapped emotions, which means she's had them her whole life, so she's probably, you know, she can let us know, but probably this has been a lifelong issue for her, right? Where she's had anxiety about work or getting work or being unemployed or going in between jobs and. Terror. Okay, I'm gonna test my work Three. here, I'm done. So uh, on a scale of one to 10, before the session, what was the severity of my anxiety being Laura Hill? Was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight? Was it nine? Was it ten, nine, eight? And now it's ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So now I'm confirming that the level of anxiety that I had about getting a job and not getting accepted, that level of anxiety is gone. Is that true? Do I need to know more? No. Am I done? Yeah. Just gonna disconnect with Laura Hill here. Awesome, yeah. So I just cleared a terror and a horror. So this anxiety panic, it's not just anxiety, it's, it's, it's you know, there's not, not too many nice words on this list. Terror, horror, unsupported. Yeah, it's not a love letter. This it's list is not a love letter if you're yeah. looking. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm, so. I'm very excited to hear from Laura and from Finn, Finn's mom, uh, before our show next week, because we know the severity of this work that you're doing for Finn. And tomorrow's yeah. Sunday night. Now, I really didn't time, John, but I think probably in under 10 minutes, I completed mine in under five minutes, and you're 
you're working on yours. So imagine booking a 30 sec, 30 minute session with John or I hashtag bring a list. Yeah. You know, bring some food items if you want or anxiety or maybe you got a little bit of money blocks or whatever it is, you know, bring just, your popcorn. Yeah. Bring popcorn and we'll get you. <laughs> you'll be throwing that out before the end of the call, whatever it is. The point that we're making here today is that we can, we want to be your proxy and we want to check in with your subconscious mind what's causing you all kinds of things neck and lower back pains and is it restless legs are you having problems sleeping do you have sinus problems do you have a broken heart do you have heartache do you feel abandoned anything that isn't natural is likely caused by trapped emotions so let us know so john tell me uh what are you measuring up here now with I finn i'm zero i'm just double checking triple checking there was another horror at age six so different age uh, so you can have, you know, the same emotion at different ages. And I think we're done here. Yeah. Finn, can we yeah, keep going? So. No, you're done. We're done, Finn. Yeah. Okay. Finn is the boss. So we'll, we'll disconnect Finn's subconscious here. mind yeah. is the boss. Yeah. Good. So well, there you go, everybody. We just demonstrated the seven keys to the emotion code process. We demonstrated how we are becoming people's proxy. They don't even have to be present. Finn certainly wasn't watching or online with us. You know, we got permission, John got permission through Finn's mother. We can do sessions on Skype. We can do them by text if you want. We can do them. Uh, I really like the video. That's my favorite way. But if you want to work on the phone, that's okay too. You can be anywhere in the world. We have very convenient online calendars that you can look at our window and it'll match your calendar, whatever country or time zone you're in. And you can say there. And before you join us, bring a list because we're good and we're fast and we know what we're doing and we want to help you. Also, uh, we're going to put the link to my emotion code hangout room. And it's a place where clients like you have, that we worked with on the line or clients of John and I go in and they share their success story. And it's fascinating to read all the success stories about what uh, people have been working on. It's also helpful to hear because you're thinking, oh, I got that too. I didn't know that wasn't normal. <laughs> I didn't know you shouldn't be peeing six times a night. No, you shouldn't be peeing six times a night. So that's why it's good to hear people's comments. John, can you uh, tell us what we've got coming up in the future? We've got, uh, I think we've just, oh, next week, we're, we're not here for sure. I'm at a trade show. Uh, John is on vacation, so we've taken next week off, but we've got a really great lineup starting in two weeks. John, what's the lineup, please? What is the lineup? Two weeks episode 40 is uh, <laughs> Night Terrors. So Nightmares, Night Terrors. Uh, we could do kids there again, probably, or adults uh, waking up in the middle of the night. Yep. Uh, number 41 would be creative blocks and brain fog. That sounds yeah, really brain exciting. fog. That's a common yeah. expression, right? If brain you're a fog. writer and you got writer's block or you need to have, you need to do homework or you need to come up with, you know, artwork creative or you're trying to problem solve or you're trying to come up with programs or, you know, ways to reach out to clients we can fix that we're going to fix that for you on the creative insecurity show creative blocks and brain fog yeah. yeah and then 42 is repetitive rituals so what's that what's that <laughs> what's that what's that what's that what's that <laughs> So yeah, some of them the are healthy, some over. not so healthy. So yep. some people call it OCD. We're calling it repetitive. You know, if you're just adamant about repeating something, you know, it's taking your time and energy, and it doesn't really need to happen. Mm -hmm. Hashtag, we can fix it. Mm -hmm. what else There's some anxiety in that as well. Um, so we, we'll work on that. We'll probably find some anxiety there. And then 43 is the Easter candy uh show so the those easter bunnies you know you're eating the easter the uh the bunny's ear those little yeah. delicious eggs or you buy the three pound bag the, of those the easter cream eggs mm -hmm. hashtag used to be my faves the easter bun the big i mean who you know there's one thing to buy a chocolate bar then there's one thing to buy a one pound chocolate bar that's what an easter bunny is it's a one pound chocolate bar and you're eating it well you don't want to join us on the hall or the the Easter show, the Easter candy show, or any other Easter. It doesn't have to be candy. It could be maybe there's just a tradition at your house where you you eat stuff and you want to break that tradition vibrationally. Yeah, absolutely. 
And then way out in number 44 is that nerve pain. So that shooting pain, stabbing pain, and we're calling it diabetic nerve pain. Or maybe that little electrical shock pain that you have, yeah, yeah. that is trapped emotions. And we love to help you with that as well. Yeah. Or like sciatica, is that, can we do that as well that day? Anyways. Yeah, we can call it that too. There's lots of things. That's a nerve. Yeah. yeah. So you don't have to be allergic to Lyrica and not take Lyrica. I hope the Lyrica people don't, well, the Lyrica people don't want to know about us because hashtag no more Lyrica. <laughs> John, I'm going to read a couple more comments. You know, I just worked on Laura Hill. I said that I found five tra trapped emotions when she was in her mother's womb. They were conflict, creative insecurity, terror, unsupported, wishy-washy. And now she's saying, it's been my whole life. Mm -hmm. I know my mother was very depressed while pregnant with me, so she would have absorbed those, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Lots Susan's of great comments saying, here. His foot, at that age, Susan, this is Finn's mom, at that age, he has had a trauma with his foot. Huh. All right, some anxiety there, yeah. And Susan, I know you're inside the Emotion Code Hangout Room on my Facebook page. Let us know Monday morning about the change because I'm very confident you are going to uh, notice some results. Pramelia Bell, we're her two favorite guys. Don't you love that? Love it, yeah. Uh, Brenda has a question. So uh, how could my eight-year-old grandson untrap his fears and anxiety? So how do you work on someone's grandson? He'd be nervous to talk, so probably from the parent. Or if you if you're the grandparent, you get permissions from the parent, yeah. And then yeah, just set up a session with Michael or I, and um, yeah, it'd say permission from the parent, right? Yeah. So the parent could say yes. Tell John or Michael they can work on me. I worked on a woman that was uh, her mother was in the hospital and she really wasn't conscious, but she got her permission to do work yeah. at one time. So and it yeah. was old. So my mom said about two months ago she'd be open to this, and then she was in the hospital with a lot of pain. Yeah. So you know what? That permission was like a permission slip. She still yeah. presented it, and I was able to connect to her mom. So yeah, um, yeah. Um, what I do is permission. I could do like an email session as well, so the, uh, the grandson doesn't have to be on video or the phone. Um, so you just yeah, this is the concerns. Send a list, and then work with the child, and and send a, a follow up report of what was cleared. So we can do that too. Good. I see Gail Jones. I'm seeing her post. Uh, she has, well, she's saying that she was giving us permission, but we're just seeing that now. So, Gail, we can help you. We can work with you with your anxiety. And I'm still scrolling here. Yeah. Oh, there's another request here. Michelle Brown is um, giving permission as well. He's 23. Uh, please work with his trapped emotions for anxiety, mental health, addictions. So Michelle, we just worked on two people, so. Yeah, um, you know what, for uh, under $100 for 30 minutes, we can uh, we can fix you up for sure. Just check our websites due to that. There's a couple other things that I've been doing with great success. I've been helping people reduce drinking alcohol, wine, beer. I've been helping people stop smoking pot. So we're not sure if we're gonna do those shows live because we need someone to put their hand up. Right, um, yeah. Yeah, maybe we can get rid of your embarrassment about that. But if it's in your way and you don't want to be drinking wine anymore or smoking marijuana, um, yeah, you've seen a lot now of Now that it's legal in Canada, I mean, you can smoke it legally, but if you find it's getting in your way, we want to help you with that. Like always, after today's show, John and I go out into the chat area. So if you have a particular private question, you can private email both of us and uh, you can ask us how we can help you. We both have online calendars. John, I see it behind you, but please let us know how people can uh, easily book an appointment with you, please. Yeah, it's behind me. It's aliveandpeer.com right below me here too. I, I posted the link in the comments. And yeah, aliveandpeer.com. Uh, yeah, check out my website. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. And absolutely join the Facebook group for success stories. It'll be very inspiring. And uh, if you're an Emotion Code practitioner and you want to talk to me more about the program that I have, it's an online video program with a very dense workbook that you follow along, uh, send me a private message and we can talk about that. Or yeah. you can go ahead and purchase this, $133, three payments. I can almost promise you that you'll make, you'll make money before you're done paying for the project. <laughs>
$133, really. You'll make money right after you've done the program. So go ahead and... Uh, yeah. Have you ever, oh, I got a question here from David Fan. Have you ever worked with any uh, anyone with adult ADHD? Michael? Well, you know, one thing we, we do in the emotion code, we don't really call it that. We don't call it, but they would say, you know, I have the problem of not focusing if that's the symptom, right? We talk about the symptoms. So yeah. Uh, I've helped a lot of people. They they would call themselves scattered. Oh, I'm, I'm just scattered. I'm all over the board. And so, you know, and probably they would be called ADHD. And I don't call right. it that. And, and, and the emotion code were taught to look for the symptom. Yeah. And I've helped a lot of people become unscattered and become more focused. And also clarity. They, they don't have clarity. I don't know what I should be doing. I don't know what I should say or do. And we help people with that. So yeah. hopefully, David, um, that Absolutely, helped answer yeah. your question. We're, yeah, I guess we, are, we need to be a little cautious with medical terminology. We don't promise to treat or cure anything. Yeah. Um, but if you have a symptom, you, we could help you reduce that by releasing trapped emotions. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, check out our calendars. We can help you. We can help you soon, right away. We'd love to do that. You know, that's we're both very passionate about this work. You know, in my real world, well, this is my real world. You know, I'm an author. I've sold 3 million books. I travel the world. I do seminars and I do training. But this is juicy for me. Yeah. This is really exciting for me. So It is. And I allow about three clients, three appointments a day, and that just fills me up. Just fulfillment needs are so met during this kind of work. So oh, yeah. I'd like to work with you. Absolutely. It is John, we did a great, awesome job today. I remind you to our friends, we are on the road next weekend. Now, uh, next weekend, I'm doing next Saturday at 10 o'clock about – I'm doing a law of attraction presentation at the real estate expo. It's going to be called what every real estate investor ought to know about law of attraction. And yesterday I asked if I could film it on Facebook live. And the guy said, I think so. Yeah, we'll check with our team. So I might be going live on my own on stage doing my classic uh, presentation on law of attraction that I teach facilitators to do. So if I come on live, I'll be sans John. That means without John. And it's meant that I had an opportunity to film this presentation at this expo. Oh, yeah, they also asked me to do two of them. You know, they asked me one, and now I'm doing two, one in the afternoon, one in the morning. So, John, let's say goodbye to our friends. We had a great show today. Lots of participation, lots of people sharing it. We appreciate you, and we'll see you in a couple weeks. Thanks, Cheers, everyone. Everybody.